You know, I was only hired for 10 episodes. And, you know, 200 and something episodes later, two feature films, returning the Super Mega Force this year on Nickelodeon. Um, you know, just still going strong. Look at this. 15, 15 years ago. Good luck, feel better. God bless. Yeah. I didn't really understand what the whole, you know, church thing was about. And then, you know, um, Probably when I lost my brother, you know what I mean? So, sorry, it's just, uh, you know, when I lost my brother, it was like, people were like telling me like, you know, I need God and all that stuff. And man, I was like, if, you know, one more person tells me that, then that's what it is. I'm from LA. So like this church is like cowboy boots, Pastor Keenan's breaking things, breaking bricks. And I was instantly attracted to him. I was like, yeah, man, this guy, you know, we sparred, we wrestled. And he used that to attract people to church. After all this excitement, the reason why we're here is for Puerto Rico Comic Con. And someone came out and said, I have hundreds of people in line. It's, it's all, it always feels good as an actor to have, to have the fans there because the fans is what makes the project. And I came out and said hello to the fans. I signed the autographs. I even ran into someone who was emotional, who almost made me cry. He was a fan of mine ever since he was five years old and he got a chance to meet me. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> Thanks for coming, okay? Yeah. <laughs> you want me to sign this for you? Sure. Yeah. There you go, man. Thank All right. you, man. Those are, those, let me, let me just guess, those, those, those are happy tears. Yeah. Okay. I don't want to, I don't want no one to leave sad. <laughs> no, All I'm right. happy, man. All right, buddy. All right, man. Make, make me, make me <laughs> almost cry. All right. What's up, everyone? You are watching AHD Toys. I just want to tell you, it's morphin' time. Uh, All right, guys, what's going on? So, full disclosure, I recorded that box intro almost over a week ago when my camera just completely gave out on me. The viewfinder wasn't working. I don't know if it was recording, and even if it was without a viewfinder, I didn't know if anything was in-framed or out of focus. Um, I couldn't get it fixed in time, which is why it took a week to finally record the rest of this video. Uh, so I have to actually do it on my phone now. Uh, so if the video and audio quality has taken a major dive, please forgive me. Uh, I am using an old phone right now. Uh, but in a way, I'm kind of glad it did happen cause, because it gave me an opportunity to put that tribute video at the beginning of this video. Um, if you guys are unaware, as of the time of this uh, figure recording, uh, JDF has passed away. I, I'm pretty sure I don't have to tell you guys who JDF is if you're watching a Power Ranger reviews because if you thought of Power Rangers within the last 30 years, JDF, Tommy Oliver, was a person that came to mind almost instantly. Um, it's so sad that it had to go down the way it did, but during the holidays, uh, depression can sink in. So please, uh, I will leave links to... Uh, on where you can get help if you're going through the same thing. Please don't keep it inside. Talk to somebody, somebody more professional than me. Uh, if you want to talk plastics, we'll talk plastic figures all day long. Uh, but if you need help, um, please reach out to one of the hotlines down below. Anyways, on to the figure review. What's going on everyone? Nathan here with AC Toys and welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we are reviewing the Power Rangers Lightning Collection Dino Thunder Yellow Ranger or AKA Kira. Now this is the last wave uh, of single releases that the Power Rangers team will be releasing in a window style box. So this is it guys. This is the last of the Tom Whalen artwork. Uh, we're all going closed packaging after this wave. I think there is, uh, who, who else is in this wave? Lost Galaxy Green, um, Wild Force Blue, and I'm forgetting the last person in this wave. I'm sure somebody will remind me. Anyways, this is the last style packaging. Uh, so if you enjoyed this packaging, you better say goodbye to it. Anyways, here it is. Your former typical style Power Rangers Lightning Collection box art. You have the window display right here with the finger, figure front and center. The Tom Whalen artwork. Power Rangers Lightning Collection logo at the bottom. Dino, Yellow, Dino Thunder Yellow Ranger. Sorry, guys. Uh, don't know what's going on today. You have that more of the artwork that wraps around the side with the Dino Thunder logo right there at the top. The full artwork right here on the other side. 3D rendering of the figure at the top. You have yellow at the top. Uh, you have legalese at the bottom along with the barcode. So if anybody wants to scan this and see if they can find it at their local target, here it is. 
Uh, anyways, I got notification this past weekend from BBTS and Amazon uh, that a whole bunch of figures were coming in. I wasn't really sure what was going on. Uh, but for whatever reason, BBTS did not ship out my stuff. Amazon only shipped out this figure. Uh, the rest of it's still in limbo. Same thing with BBTS. So this will be front and center. I have a feeling during Thanksgiving week, I'm going to have a bunch of reviews coming out. Uh, I know some people got their snizzards instead of Dino Thunder Yellow. Some people got their Dino Thunder Yellow instead of snizzard. I don't know what's going on there. Manufacturing dis distribution yada 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 anyways that is enough i am dragging on let's crack this guy open and see how cool she actually is all right guys so now we have the figure out of packaging and here she is in all her dino thunder yellow glory we finally have the core three team complete uh there's also trent the white dino thunder ranger now all we need is god rest his soul dino thunder black dr tommy oliver but in the meantime, this is what we have to work with, and here she is. It is a great looking figure. She has the updated female body mold, so that means she has the pinless elbows, double elbows, uh, pinless knees. They did actually get the visor on her correct. It is white, uh, unlike the other two where they're silver. So if you didn't customize yours like mine did, this is going to stand out a little bit, but that's neither here nor there. We'll get into that as soon as we go into the accessories. So, oh, that's jarring with the little shadows. Let's scoot her up a little bit, shall we? Hopefully she doesn't fall. There we go. So, as always, she comes with her two uh, kind of weapon holding hands on her out of factory. She comes with one extra karate chop hand, like so. And then she comes with this posing hand. I don't really know... I know I'm a huge Dino Thunder fan. It is one of my favorite seasons, if you guys are well aware. It probably is my favorite season next to, like, you know, Super Sentai stuff. But Power Rangers is it. And I'm ashamed to say I don't recall what this pose is for. I'll have to look it up in a little bit. Uh, but, yeah, she's got this posing hand or holding up a forehand. Maybe it's to symbolize she's the fourth figure in this uh, series. So, not like the series series, but, you know, Dino Thunder. Then, of course, she comes with her two uh, Terra Grips. I believe that's what they're called. I think they're a tad bit oversized for her, uh, scaling-wise. But overall, not too bad. Not much paint details going on on them, just like all the other ones. Uh, you have a little bit of a silver paint going across the top. But other than that, it is all solid yellow with a little bit of black painted on the grips right there. So those go in those hands. And she comes with her... Uh, I, don't, I forgot what it's called. Either way, she comes with her blaster in blaster form. This is the first one that didn't come with the sword form. I don't know why. I don't know if it's because we had to get an extra weapon, but at the same time, both these combined is still smaller than the shield. Anyways, I mean, it's not like I needed it, but it's just weird that it didn't come with it. Cost-cutting measures, I assume, you know, with everything going up and them having to make their profit. Anyways... It also comes with a blast effect that ports into the blaster very nicely. I don't believe we got this within the other two, so this is a very nice effect. <coughs> if you guys know me pretty well, you know I don't like these blast effects very much, but there are some that are, I think, that really uh, set the figure apart, and this is definitely one of them, like the little lightning effects I don't really care for too much, but stuff like this uh, that actually makes it look like it's blasting some, I really like. And last but not least, she comes with her civilian head, which, in my opinion, doesn't quite resemble her very much. It probably doesn't help that mine, uh, all the paint is kind of shifted. <coughs> uh, this camera, sorry guys, I'm, it just won't focus that well. Uh, it probably doesn't help that all of my paint is shifted to the left a little bit. Uh, so it's throwing it off. I did order a replacement, so that's coming in. Uh, but other than that, maybe it would look nice. Hard to tell with mine uh, because the paint apps are so bad. Uh, the hair sculpting is very nice. It does look like her hair from the show. And if you just wanted to see what it looks like on the figure. Guys, during this winter weather, please be careful with these. Please don't break. There we go. Uh, definitely heat it up. Don't do what I just did. Uh, the cold weather makes... It's so much harder. And, oh my god, uh, I want to love this figure, but that paint app, uh, 
so bad. And it's just shifted to the left ever so slightly. So I can't wait for mine to come in. Uh, but anyways, that is how she looks with her civilian head with the messed up paint apps. So yeah, let's go ahead and take this off. Put this back on. Oh, this helmet is actually a lot harder to put on than the actual civilian head sculpt. But anyways, let me clear out these accessories and then we'll go into details. Okay, so going into details of the figure, as I had mentioned, uh, she does have the white lines around the visor like it should be. Uh, so that is a plus on its side. Uh, she does have the gold trim around the collar, which uh, I think... It was Dino Thunder Red who didn't come with it. I could be wrong. One of them didn't come with the gold trim around the neck. Uh, and I had to add that myself. Uh, and because she's pinless, she doesn't have the weird, like, one side's uh, supposed to be white and then one side's yellow. Uh, the pinless really gives it that cleaner aesthetic look, which kind of a shame that the rest of them didn't have it. But either way, uh, so the one thing that they are missing, which isn't too big of a deal. Oh, I mean, it's missing a lot of other things, but... One of the things that's kind of like glaring uh, is that they don't have the black outlines around the white diamonds. Um, for whatever reason, she's the only uh, ranger suit out of the three or, or the three core that has the black outlines around the uh, white diamonds. The other two don't have it, so I'm not sure why. Uh, it's not too big of a deal. Honestly, it always kind of bothered me uh, growing up anyway, so... But, you know, me being the OCD person I am, I probably will fill in these lines a little bit later. Uh, and, you know, but that's much later on. Anyways, uh, she does look great. The uh, Dino Thunder emblem is printed on her chest very nicely. More for a solid yellow, uh, just like the other one was solid red and solid blue. Uh, I'll paint in the details for those later. The gold on the belt is very nice. Uh, if you want to see the uh, holster... There it is with the blaster in the holster. For whatever reason, they just look kind of weird in the Dino Thunder because I feel like this is like just a tad bit undersized. I feel like it should just go down a little bit more, but they're all like that. Gold around her cuff is very nice. Boots. But yeah, guys, overall a very nice figure. Uh, paint details on the suit itself are almost perfect. There's a little bit of white missing right there. I'll probably fill that in myself. But overall... The details on this figure are phenomenal. So, yeah. So, let's move on, on to articulation. articulation. Uh, she does do a full 360 at the head. Lots of side to side. We'll look up that far. Down that far. Ball jointed shoulders. We'll go up very high. Full 360 at the shoulder blade. Full 360 at the upper uh, bicep. Pinless double jointed elbows. Wrist rotation, these hands go up and down. Sorry, out of focus there. Uh, these hands go up and down. Uh, does have butterflies. We'll go forward about that far. Back, a very good amount. Upper diaphragm, we'll rock side to side. Lower ab crunch, go down about that far. Back an ungodly amount. She does have, uh, actually, no, she doesn't have uh, drop down hips, I'm sorry. No drop down hips on this figure, uh, but she will do the splits. The holster, the skirt doesn't hinder it at all. The holster on this side though, hinders it just a tad bit, just kind of like force it out of the way, uh, but not too bad. Uh, there is a split down the skirt, so there's no issues there. Upper thigh swivel, double jointed knees, pinless, boot cuff rotation, and has ankle rockers forwards, backwards, side to side. So all the new standard uh, female body mold articulation, which I am so happy they are now finally on par there you go, uh, with the, uh, the rest of the male body molds. So moving on to size comparison. Okay, here we have her next to her uh, other team counterparts, Connor and Ethan. And obviously she scales great with them. As you can see here, uh, this is what I was talking about. I marked mine with white. Uh, I used a Gundam marker. Uh, it took a lot of patience to get it just correctly. And then, you know, you take a toothpick and kind of scrape off the bits that's dried. Not something I highly recommend you do if your hand is not very steady. Uh, but if it bothered you that much um, that the others are silver and now this is white, um, that might be something you have to look into. If it doesn't bother you all, never mind. And moving on. 
Here we have her next to the Toei Marvel Legends Spider-Man and the In Space Disguise Andros. So, scales really nicely. Here we have her next to Luke Skywalker Star Wars Black Series and the figure that set off the new Ranger body mold, Dino Charge Pink. Almost said Thunder. Dino Charge Pink. So overall, do I recommend this figure? Yes, obviously you're gonna need her to complete your Dino Thunder team. Um, she is great. There is nothing majorly wrong with her, uh, um, visually at least. Uh, QC wise, there could be some touch ups here and there with my figure, but that is, you know, my figure. Good thing she is a window package figure. Uh, so if you do happen to find her in store, you can pick and choose which one is best for you. Um, Mine came in from Amazon, so obviously I didn't really have a choice in the matter, but they are sending a replacement. It's just taking a very long time. But that is another note of the downside with these new windowless packaging. You can't see the QC issues. Uh, my yellow uh, or my color swap two pack from GameStop was horrendous. I didn't even want to review it. It was that bad. Like the paint apps were completely off. Uh, body pieces were like really warped and it was just an entire clusterfuck of like problems with that set. I didn't even want to review it. Uh, I asked GameStop for another uh, replacement package. They haven't sent me one yet. Anyways, that's neither here nor there. We're talking about this figure. This figure is great. Highly recommend this figure. I don't give that out enough uh, in this line because of the quality control issues. But this one, spot on. So until next time, guys. Later.